What is going on guys? We are back with The Promised Neverland Chapter 99. Uh, this video is going to be both 99 and 100 since I missed 99 like a while ago. Um, I just started school so like some of these reactions might be like a little bit late. Uh, so I apologize for that but um, better late than never. I didn't, I didn't want to just skip over these chapters right so uh, yeah for sure gonna do it. Um, so yeah let's get into this chapter. Um, so there really was an ally. That wasn't a recording, just now on this line talking with us, live. Was it really a supporter? <laughs> it's the real thing, yeah. Yeah, and then we did we did have somebody on the other line. Um And also at the same time we have like Rat Rees like men uh searching like different shelters for the kids, right? Um so they didn't try to lure us outside nor finish uh or fished our hints about our location. An enemy would probably do that, or else get us to call again soon. It doesn't hurt to stay cautious, of course. There's always a chance it's a trick of some sort, but still. I think we could trust them. So far, so good. Now that we know that there are allies and that we can contact them, they will come to help us, right? <laughs> no, we can't be sure of that at all. Yeah, I, I would think that the supporters, like, they would need to stay hidden, uh, just to, like... Uh, you know, try to keep themselves away from Ratry and his men. I like, yeah, just to keep keep themselves like hidden away from those people for sure. I I don't think it would be the safest thing for them to come out of hiding for the kids. Um, all right, so they probably think that we are eager to escape in secret. Uh, how can they guess that we are looking for the seven walls? That we want to do something as drastic as saying all the children in the world, they find the seven walls. It's true that Minerva raised the possibility, but they can't know that we choose this option. And we really have to find some way to tell them. But hey, we know they're on our side. However, you could tell that there was a sense of urgency. Their call was very, very short. And even though they were supposed to contact us within 24 hours, it took them a whole week. Only to tell us that we can't meet right now. From that alone, it's clear that the enemy is very close. True enough, but still, there were good news too. They said they'd contact us later, and that they'd come meet us. We should be prepared to receive a call at any time. Let's take turns standing by the phone. It's probably a good idea to teach Morse code to everyone who can. Yeah, and while we wait for contact, I want to try to find out as much as possible about the seven walls. <laughs> Alright. Chapter 99... Uh, Kuvi Kuv <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this, man. Uh, Kuviti Dala. There, that's that's my best attempt right there, man. <laughs> Weird name. I'm excited to see what that means. Um. All right, so you must seek for night and day in the eyes of the dragon Kuviti Dala. Ku Kuviti Dala. Oh, no. Whatever, man. <laughs> I'm just going to say Dala. From now on, I'm just going to say Dala. Um, you shall first head north northwards for 10 miles, then head eastwards for 10 miles, then head southwards for 10 miles, then head westward for 10 miles. Jesus. Uh, skywards for 10 miles and landwards for 10 miles. <laughs> when the arrow stops in between the sand grains and the sun sets down in the east, then uh, to the cries of the earth, you shall find what you seek. That which sets us apart from him, namely the seven walls. They're making fun of us, <laughs> right? That's, that's exactly what I would say in that situation too. Like, you're messing with us, right? Um, yeah, I've read this again and again, and they totally are. The whole thing makes no sense, but... Look at this first. Go north and east and south and west all the same distance. You're just gonna go back right where you started, damn it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Um, though this Kuvitidara guy is something I've heard before. Yeah, totally. So did you decipher what I asked? Decipher. <laughs> this is the ancient book from the library. As for the books that deal with demons and the promise, they are old enough to be considered historical. Wow, they're falling apart. That's actually super cool. Just how old is that thing? Ray had asked us, so we gave it a try and decoded it. But this isn't just an old text with archaic language. Uh, there are pages where the paper is crumbling and the handwriting is so weird that you can't even tell which language it is. 
Those pages are in Latin, in mirrored writing. What do you mean? Latin and mirrored writing. <laughs> um, Latin used to be the common language throughout the entire Roman Empire. Mirrored writing is when you invert left and right directions of the letters. Uh, this handwriting looks really difficult to decipher. I found it odd that they had a Latin dictionary in another shelf, but we were soon leaving for Goldie Pond, so I asked them to decipher it. And when we read it, we found out that your hypothesis was correct, Ray. This book is a collection of, di of diary notes from many different people. Interesting. Uh, I mean, there has to be something very important in there if they took the time to actually, like, invert the letters, right? Um, they are from many different places and ages. The oldest one is probably that part in Latin. Uh, then this may be from the clan that made the promise. That is, the diaries of the Ratry clan from a thousand years ago. We are just guessing from looking up the words that we can decipher, so we are not completely sure of the contents. But they do mention something interesting. The dragon Kufi Tidala. Uh, Kufi Tidala? Is that a place name or maybe it's a place? It's here on the map. Interesting. I love how I said I was just gonna name, I was just gonna say Dala, but I keep saying the full name. Um, interesting. So it's a it's an actual place. Uh, see, someone has written coordinates over the original map. Are these the same coordinates that the pen uses? You must seek for night and day in the eyes of the dragon Kufi Tidala. The other hints are unclear, but at any rate, yeah, first of all, we should take a look at this Kuviti Dala place. <clears throat> at D528143, that's a bit far away. Who's going? Um, the supporters told us to stay put in here, BO632, the protecting the shelter is priority. The search party should be small. If too many people go, we'll be easy to spot. A handpicked elite group. Of course, that means once more Ray and Emma and you go, and let's go with me and Emma and Don. Don and Gilda, okay. I actually really like this. I like. I feel bad for them that they always have to be like stuck with the kids, or like it feels like they're they're always like left behind a little bit. Um, so I'm really interested for this. Uh, excited for this. <laughs> It's like almost them, like, getting to prove themselves, right? Um, hey, hey, the kids are going alone? The path is very likely brimming with those damn demons, and we have no proper guide either. None of us has ever explored those areas, not even I. Yes, we know how dangerous it is, and we'd be much safer with you, of course. Emma, Emma's little smile again. Uh, but the warning we got made it clear. The enemies are out there looking for us. I'm sure they're trying to locate this shelter, so we can't afford to leave it shorthanded. This is our home, the headquarters of the cattle children. I would feel much better knowing that you're here protecting the shelter, Hugo. And Don and Gilda are super dependable comrades. Right, they learn very fast, and, and let's not forget that the time during the escape when... The time during the escape when... <laughs> they're crying, man, yeah... <laughs> Um, if you don't want to go, you don't have to. The hell are you talking about, man? I'm so happy. <laughs> I thought we'd stay behind on the headquarters duty again. And it's so difficult when you cannot do anything except wait. Now we can stand by your side. What a relief. I'm really happy for them, man. Really happy. We will work our asses off. The well, we will work our asses off on this. You'll see. Right, Gilda? Right. Sorry to interrupt the moment, but could you please take these two along? <laughs> we got plenty enough staying here. Although you guys just like, to just take these two as well. Like, we have too many people here. Um, it's easier to do with duty, uh, to watch duty with four people. And these kids will probably be of some use. Are you that worried about them, Hugo? They'll be alright. Zach, Violet, would you like to go with us? Gladly. <clears throat> Right, so we got a team of six going out, right? Uh, Zach has experience in the relief squad, and Violet is a great guard who can see well in the dark. It should be all right. Were you always such a mother hen, you go? <laughs> well then, be back soon. For the sake of a better tomorrow, the party quest for the seven walls. All right. Damn, it feels like we just we just got back to the shelter, and now we're already leaving, right? Um... Interesting, man. So, uh, this, 
this cult culty culty fidala or whatever is gonna lead us or it's going to be uh like the path that leads to the seven walls i'm really interested and curious to see what the seven walls actually is i'm glad that we're like going straight there man um tackling that next um and again man musica and and sun Zhao, i'm really curious to see what their role is gonna be in this as well um yeah, and then it's. I think it's also gonna be compared compared to the last time that Emma and Ray left this shelter in particular. Um, like the the kids were pretty much left alone, and we didn't really go back to the shelter, right? But now that we have Emma and her little group with Zach, Violet, and Ray, Gilda, and Dawn, uh, all going to the Seven Walls. I feel like this is an opportunity to have like a like a side plot going on at the same time with uh, Hugo and his group still in the shelter because I just, in my gut I, I have this feeling that Ratri's people are gonna come and find this shelter and there's gonna be some battle while Emma and the other kids are gone like I could see that happening um, I think it'd be really cool if it if it does but um. Yeah, I don't know. I think it'd be really, really interesting if that does happen. To have those two kind of things happening side by side uh, would be really, really nice. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this chapter, uh, chapter 99, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.